Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to show you how to gap piston rings correctly. So stay tuned. The only thing that you're going to need to do this job is the piston that you are wanting to have the ring gapped for, the piston ring itself, as well as a basic file that you can put into a vise, or you can do it by hand either way. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your piston ring and you're going to want to slide it into place. You only want to slide it in maybe about a quarter of an inch and then start to kind of fold it up and in and have the crease or rather the split that you're going to be gapping at the bottom. Then you're going to take your piston ring and I already have my second piston ring installed because I don't need to gap that one and put it into place and push it down and that second ring will kind of set the depth uh, perfectly for you. And then go ahead and remove it. Go ahead and set your piston up on the engine and I forgot to mention one other tool you're going to need is a feeler gauge. So um, these are really inexpensive. You can get them at Harbor Freight or pretty much anywhere. And what they are is a bunch of different sizes that you can gauge. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sliding these into the crease and finding out what exactly the sizes that we have right now and then taking it out of the engine and filing it down and then going to the next size. So let's see what size we have now. All right, so then what you do is you go through and um, you find out which one it is. Now this one here is a 16 I've found that um, fits it perfectly when stock and you just wanna slide that in there and make sure it goes all the way down and, and that's how you gauge it, that it's perfectly flush in there. Now if you look, the size that we're trying to get to is definitely quite a bit thicker. What we're trying to get to is around a 26, 0.026. So now what you're going to do is you're going to carefully pull the piston ring out. You're going to come over to your file and you're going to run up and down and take off just a little bit of material and then you're going to take it back over and then check the gauge that you have then. And you don't want to take off too much material because if you go over then you have to get a new set of rings. And the way that I do this is I, I go flush like this and then I kind of tilt it just a little bit at an angle backwards, a little bit at an angle forwards, a little bit of an angle up and, and then down a little bit. And that seems to get me a nice um, even cut that is um, not sharp it's more of a beveled sort of cut so it doesn't catch into the piston groove take your piston ring slide it back into place just as you did before take your piston top and it doesn't have to be connected to the conrod push it down into place grab your gauge and I've got the 26 right here and we'll slide it in it looks like we're we're not quite getting down, but we're getting really close. So I'm going to go back over and file it down a little bit more, and then you'll see where we're at. So now that I've got it all the way down to where I need it, the um, number 26 um, spacer will just slide perfectly right in there and slide in and out like that, but it won't turn sideways. It just perfectly slides through there. If you have suggestions for upcoming videos or have something you'd like to see, comment below. Oh,